Don't worry about this job, Chase. Consider a payback for how much the gift shop charged for that dinosaur pen when you were 11. Feathers. Four letters. Hmm. Hmm. Down? No, across. This car holds the world speed record. When it was being flown from the factory, it fell out the back of the plane, reaching a terminal velocity of- I just called Sheriff Huckleberry, and he told me that he hasn't seen you in hours. Where are you? A lead came up, Chief, and I think it points straight to Rex. So, not only have you ignored my orders, you're probably about to take something expensive again. Are you sure this is connected with Fury? Yes. Vinny's asked me to get the museum's robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex for someone. It can't just be a coincidence. That does sound like Fury's style. All right, I'll let you follow this one, McCain. But if it doesn't lead to Fury, then that T-Rex won't be the only extinct thing around here. This is the largest known silver Lego ingot to ever be found in the Bluebell Mine, discovered by Silas Fletcher when it fell on top. I almost got ran over in a museum.
This is the historic Lego City Tram, which was sold by con artist Tricky Jimmy to no less than 12 separate customers, all of whom neglected to notice that their receipts clearly stated, carriage is not included. This oil derrick is over a hundred years old. Oil derricks are named after their inventor, John Oil. This is the historic Lego City Tram, which was sold by con artist Tricky Jimmy to no less than 12 separate customers. This oil derrick is over a hundred years old. Oil derricks are named after their inventor, John Oil. This is the historic Lego City Tram, which was sold by con artist Tricky Jimmy.
Ooh, I could use that super build. Those things are awesome. The dinosaur exhibit? Great. The T-Rex is bound to be in there.
You can't get in here. Well, that certainly isn't a T-Rex. Oh! <laughs> Although this peaceful dinosaur had a vegetarian diet, it was deadlier than a Tyrannosaurus Rex, as its massive size meant it would often accidentally squash. And that isn't a T-Rex either. Just give up! You'll never get in! Is the T-Rex. If I ran this place, it'd be right in the middle, being all Rawr! Can I smell burning? Oh, great. They haven't built the T-Rex exhibit yet. I better find some super bricks. You know, this is exactly how stuff like the Brontosaurus happens.
I just reinvented the wheel. Yeah. This diorama depicts two cavemen inventing fire and the wheel. Due to complaints of inaccuracy, we have removed the third caveman, previously shown inventing the laptop computer. This diorama depicts two cavemen inventing fire and the wheel. Due to complaints of inaccuracy, we have removed the third caveman, previously shown inventing the laptop computer. Yes! Bullseye! I've got enough bricks to build that T-Rex now. 
coming soon. An exciting diorama showing the many uses of hay. I found a lot of super bricks. Hmm, maybe there's something I can build around here. I can use them to build a T-Rex. That is lucky. Okay.
Chris, keep it low key. I got the T-Rex out of the museum. Do you want me to take it to your private buyer? Nah, he don't want anyone meeting him but me. I'll send you the location to the drop-off. Okay, Vinny. Hey, I know you're eager, Chasey, but this guy's bad news. Tell me about it. Sure. He's real impatient. Like he needs all this stuff yesterday. Eh, this whole business has changed. Time was, you took stuff to make a profit. But this feels different. Like there's something bigger going on. Yeah, listen to me. Going on like my mother. Just drop off that T-Rex. Hey, Chase. Are you busy? Well, I'm kind of... Great. Are you getting close to finding my dad? Uh, yeah. I'm on a job for a guy who I'm sure is working for Rex. Once I find Rex, I think I'll find your dad. You really think Rex has my dad? Is it because I testified against him? Rex is the kingpin. He must have something to do with your dad's disappearance. Uh, but I don't think it's because of your testimony. If it was, he'd just grab you, right? That's what I'd do. What? You know, if I was evil. Which I'm not. So what is Rex's connection to my dad? I don't know. But once I do know something, I'll call you. Thanks, Chase. The T-Rex is at the drop-off point, Vinny. That's great. Yeah, just one more job and I can get my payment and wave goodbye to my private buyer. That creep. You're gonna meet him? I don't envy you. He sounds mean. Yeah, some people. They ain't like us, Chasey. They don't have class. Do you need help with this job, then? I don't know. I mean, the other thing he wants is some boat from the fire department. Well, I got guys who can drive it, but, uh... What's the problem? The keys to it are in the fire chief's safe. The only people who can get near to it are firemen. Whoever does the job would have to go undercover. You reckon you could do that? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I've obviously never done that before, but 
I think I could do it. Then the job's yours. Thanks, Chasey. I won't forget it. Sorry, it's an emergency. Hey, Chase, I've got some great news. Oh, hey there, Frank. What is it? I have been promoted! What? Wait, who by? Sheriff Huckleberry. He's made me head of tree-related crime. Ah. Uh. Are people stealing a lot of trees? Not since I've taken over. So, what you up to? Oh, the usual. Actual police work. I'm just going undercover for Vinny as a fireman. Aren't you already undercover? So, now you're undercover, undercover? Whoa! I'm going to get one of the fire department's boats for Vinny. Oh? And once I've taken it to Vinny, he's gonna go see Rex, and I'll follow him. Okay, Chase. As long as you're not stealing any trees. No, Frank. Speak later. Aye, aye! Over and out! <laughs>